A warm welcome, the Italian Devia. In this video, I'll show you how to easily set up a React Tailwind CSS web application using Vite. I'm quite sure that this video will make you never use Create React App again. You'll be surprised on how Vite.js makes your development experience faster and leaner. Before we start with the tutorial, let me spend just a few words on Vite. Latin said, Nomen Omen, the name speaks for itself, and this is totally true for Vit. Vit is a French word that means quick. It was born to be quick, and it is very quick. Vit is a JavaScript build tool for modern front end web applications. It leverages the availability of ES modules in the browser serving the source code over native ESM. Vit offers instant dev server call start, pre-bundling dependencies using ESBuild, which is 10 to 100 times faster than JavaScript-based bundlers. Vit offers a build command to bundle production code using Rollup. It offers also template presets for almost all the modern JS front-end framework like React, Vue, Svelte, and more. Enough said now, let's go straight into the code and please remember to hit the like button, comment in the comment section down below and subscribe to the channel. Well, we can now open our terminal. So to start creating our brand new React.js application using the create vite tool. But before to start typing any npm commands, we need to perform a simple check. We need to check which npm version we have installed in our local machine. So simply type npm minus v and the version number will be printed out in your terminal. But why we need to perform this check? Well, simply because in base of the npm version we have installed, the npm commands we need to write related to the create v tool are slightly different. Now let's see the two scenario cases. If you have an npm version from 6 point something till to 7, the create tool command you need to run is npm space create space v at latest then the name we want to give to our project so in this case let's just type example then we need to pass the template flag so minus minus template and here we need to specify which front end we want for our web application so we may choose react view uh, svelte and many many others in this case for this tutorial since i want to show how to set up a react application with Tailwind CSS using the uh, Vite tool, we need to simply type React. Well, as I said, this is the npm command related to an npm version from 6 point something till to 7. If you are in the case like mine right now, in which you have an npm version greater than 7 point something, you need to move your cursor between example and the template flag. Add the space and then simply add minus minus. So this is the right command for an npm version greater than 7. So let's press enter and this will initially, let's say initially set up a brand new React JS application, but why am, am I saying initially? Because if you are used to create React app, create React app will, let's say, completely set up a brand new React JS application with all the dependencies installed. So you just cd into the newly created folder, and then you can simply type npm run dev, and that command will fire up a new development server which will serve your application under localhost port 3000. But in this case, as I said, Vite will uh, create an initial setup because we need to install all the dependencies needed by ourselves just running the command npm install inside the newly created folder. So let's simply cd 
inside the newly created folder and run the npm install command. So now let's wait for all the dependency to be installed. And so we can then open this brand new React.js application in our IDE of choice. Well, I'm gonna use Visual Studio Code. So for me, simply code dot. So far so good. Well, now to simply test this barebone React.js application created using the create with tool, let's simply open the integrated terminal and run the command npm run dev. This will serve our application not at localhost port 3000 like we are used with create react app, but at localhost port 5173. And here we are, this is the simple react application set up using create with tool. Well, let's now think how we can install Tailwind CSS in our React.js application. So let's go back to our code editor. Let's simply stop the running process and type the command npm install minus capital D. So it means we are installing this dependency as dev dependency and then Tailwind CSS then post CSS and then auto prefix it. Press enter and let's wait for this dependency to be installed. Well, now that these three dependencies are installed, we can init a new Tailwind CSS project inside our React.js application. So let's type npx Tailwind CSS init minus p press enter and this will create a tailwind css config file that namely is tailwind.config.cjs and then a post css config file namely is postcss.config.cjs well we can now move inside tailwind.config.cjs and here we have this module.exports object in which is defined the content property that expects an array. In this array, we will add all the paths of our templates file. Now, if we are used again to create React app, and sorry if I make this continuous comparison between create React app and create Vit, but I hope it could be, how to say, interesting to you. As you remember, for create React app, we just need to add as path dot src slash star star slash again star dot. Then we have curly braces and inside js comma ts comma jsx comma tsx. Now what? does this line mean? Simply means, listen, Tailwind, all the templates file you need are located inside the source folder and also all the subdirectories inside the source folder and you have to take into account all the file with this extension. And so with simply this line we were able to communicate to Tailwind CSS if our project was created using the Create React Tab tool. But for Vith it's slightly different because as you can see from the navigation bar here on the left, the index.html file that we were used to see inside the source folder, now it's outside. So if with this simple line, we were able to cover all the templates needed inside the source folder for create React app. For Vit, what we need to do is to also add dot slash, so root directory, index.html and the comma. We can now save and move to index.css. And this file is inside the source folder and here you have the index.css file. Let's remove 
all this boilerplate CSS code. And in here, we need to add the Tilewind directive for each Tilewind's layers. So it means simply type at Tilewind, and we have the base layer. Then again, at Tilewind, and we have the components layer. And then we have at Tilewind, and here we have the last utilities layer. So the three Tilewind directives for each Tilewind's layers are correctly added. And what we can do now is to move inside app.jsx file, delete all the three imports at the top. Also, let's delete this use state. Then all the boilerplate code returned from the app function. And let's simply return a div. And let's pass some class name and some Tailwind utility classes so we can check if Tailwind is correctly set up and added to our ReactJS application. And let's simply say with screen h screen. And then let's give a background color of red 300. We can now save. And what we expect to see now, if we run our React.js application, is to see a simple div component that is taking the 100% of the viewport width, the 100% of the viewport height, with the background color of red 300. So let's move to the terminal and run npm run dev. And here we are, our React.js application has now Tailwind CSS correctly integrated into it. Well, we can close this tutorial for this video. And if you like this type of content, please hit the like button, comment in the comment section down below, and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye. Thank you, the Italian Dev. See you.